Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been a few weeks since my last one. Got a nice size stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about today. Also, my mom's gonna pop in a little bit later on with some guest reviews. But if you guys like my videos in any way, please hit that thumbs up button. Share these videos around on Facebook and Twitter and what have you. And stay tuned for my Black Friday video coming up next week. It's gonna be crazy, man. I'm gonna go crazy hoarding. And the first one up over here is from Sony Pictures. Entertainment, and this is a film I've been dying to see, and that is Don't Breathe. Uh, this is, of course, the Blu-ray digital copy combo pack, and this is a film that, like, I was really anticipating because I heard a lot of people talking about it. I'm like, this could, this is, could be really super cool. I got, to, I didn't get a chance to see it in the movie theater or anything, and I got a chance to watch it last night. Looks spectacular here on Blu-ray, and it's about these three guys, these three you know, 20-somethings who love to break into houses, you know, steal things, expensive things, and, you know, make a living at doing that. Until one day, these three, you know, there's two guys and one girl, decide to break into this old man's house, this old war veteran's house. He's old, he's blind, supposedly he has, like, over $300,000 in his house. So they're, they're going to go in there and, and, and take his, you know, to take that money and, and run. But, uh, you know, of course, they survey the house and everything like that, and they notice that this guy doesn't leave his house very often. So they're going to say, they, they said, screw it. We're going to go in this guy's house when he's there and take all the, take this money, you know, when, when he's all up in there. And it's uh, what happens when these three go into this, you know, this the old guy's house. I thought this movie was a lot of fun, okay? It's not as good as, like, it wasn't it wasn't as, you know, um, as amazing as I thought it was going to be from all the reviews I heard. But it was totally probably one of the better horror movies I've seen in a long time. And uh, there's like some like a real big twist that happens in the middle of this movie that makes me go, oh shit. Because like when I was watching this, I was going, Do I am I supposed to care about these characters that are breaking into this poor poor guy's house? You know what I mean? Because they're at, they're going and they're stealing shit from some you know from some poor guy. But then when that twist happens, you're like, oh shit, who 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 who, who am I who am I rooting for now? You know what I mean? It's, it's really kind of crazy, really really uh, nicely edited. I, I really like the tone and the vibe of this film. Um, if you've never seen it before, definitely give this one a chance. On this Blu-ray, you get an audio commentary track by the director and like four or five, um, you know, featurettes on here, you know, talking to the cast and crew on the making of the film. But I just really like the whole tone and the whole vibe and look of this film. It's just, it was just really, really, really great. Thought it was kind of cool. And uh, next up over here from Lionsgate and the Vestron uh, home video is uh, one of their new uh, Vestron on video uh, Blu-rays that they just put out, and it's called uh, Chud 2, Bud the Chud here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is a, um, a film, sadly, I, did, I never really, you know, watched a lot as a kid or anything. Like, I remember seeing the first Chud, you know, a handful of times back in the day. This one right here, I didn't never really watch that often. I remember owning it on VHS and maybe, I think, no, on DVD when, they, when, they, when it came to that, you know, that uh, triple pack or the multi-feature pack Lionsgate put out years ago with, like, some other, you know, horror movies and stuff on there. But, like, this one... It's, it's, it's actually kind of entertaining, and it's it's not really a direct sequel to uh, the original Chud film. It's kind of real, really loose and everything like that, and it's pretty much about um, the government uh, keeping these Chuds or zombies or whatever you want to call it, you know, under under wraps and you know keeping them in their uh, you know. Um, you know, just, just keeping them away uh, from the public. But now there's only one Chud left, or zombie, whatever you want to call him, and uh, his name's Bud. And uh, he escapes. He escapes the government's, uh, you know, labs and everything like that and goes goes on the streets. And he starts, you know, biting people and turning other people into chuds. And uh, crazy stuff starts happening. And I, I, I know, I thought this was kind of fun. It's more of a comedy than a horror film, uh, in my opinion. But that's what I liked about it. Because I really do love, you know, 80s teen sex comedy kind of uh, movies. This is not really a teen sex comedy, but it kind of has that kind of, you know, comedy element to it, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, of course, this is the the sequel to Chud, sort of. And uh, on the only thing you only really special features you get on this Blu-ray here is audio commentary uh, by the director and uh, a couple of cast interviews. Uh, you know, with the one of the main stars and uh, one of the, the main actresses uh, of this film is talking about their experience making of the film. And uh, you get the video trailer, like the home video trailer, because this was shot for uh, you know straight to, for, to home video. But if you guys love the Chud films, uh, definitely get this one. It actually looks really really nice on Blu-ray, in my opinion. And uh, next up over here is a film I love a little bit more than Chud, uh, Chud 
have two, but the chud, and that is Return of the Living Dead 3 uh, here on Blu-ray Man, the new collector's edition. Chud, the chud 2 is actually a collector's edition also, but uh, Return of the Living Dead 3 here on Blue has a lot more special features to it, to be honest. But uh, of course, this is uh, uh, this one right here takes place, uh, it's kind of out of the universe of the first two Return of the Living Dead movies, because the first Return of the Living Dead movie and the second Return of the Living Dead movie, to me, are kind of like... Uh, Evil Dead, the original Evil Dead, and they're uh, Evil Dead 2. You know what I mean? They're kind, of, they're kind of sort of the same movie, but a little different, if you know what I mean. This one right here, Return of Living Dead 3, goes on its own little, it's, it's, it's own, you know, it's in its own little universe, if you know what I mean. Uh, in this one, uh, uh, the government has all these, um, you know, containers with zombies in them and everything like that, and they have the trioxin and everything, and they're trying to, the government's testing, you know, this, you know, the, the, the gas that is that is that are that is in uh, you know these little containers that these zombies are in and testing them on on dead people see if it can bring them you know to life and then take out you know take the zombies out and everything like that and it's about these two young kids that break into this you know government facility and find out what what the hell's really going on there and everything and uh, one one of these kids his father works at this uh, you know government facility and things and one you know he one day he defies his father because his father doesn't want him to see this little, you know, this young girl, uh, you know, that he's, that he's dating, and he, you know, says, screw you, dad, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not moving to another, you know, military base, screw you, and then runs off with the, you know, runs, runs off with his girlfriend, his, him and his girlfriend get in the, you know, uh, a little accident on his motorcycle, and his girlfriend dies, and he ends up bringing his girlfriend back, you know, to that, you know, uh, government facility where his father works at to try to bring her back to life, you know, with, with the gas from, you know, these little, you know, uh, the drums that they have, and it's all the crazy that happens when she comes back to life because she's not quite human anymore and crazy shit starts to go down and uh, that's all I can really say about the movie I don't want to keep rambling on and on forever but I, I thought this movie is always, I always thought this movie was a lot of fun but Return of Living Dead 2 is my absolute favorite and I can't wait for that to get a Blu-ray release sometime down the road with the original music but you also get a handful of uh, special features on this uh, disc over here a new audio commentary track by uh, director Brian Usna and uh, you know interviews uh, with the uh, special effects makeup artist, and you also get a new interview in here with uh, Melinda Clark, uh, you know the the main girl of the film here, the main zombie girl, and a couple of other like theatrical trailers, to, uh, you know, uh, still the galleries and things. Really, really fun movie. If you've never seen it before, highly, highly recommend it. Because after this one, the Retur the Return of Living Dead series kind of went to shit in my opinion. And uh, next up over here from Lionsgate Home Entertainment is uh, Hell or High Water uh, here on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, combo pack. Uh, this film right here stars Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, and uh, Ben Foster, and it's about these uh, two uh, young bank robbers played by Ben Foster and uh, Chris Pine, who you know go around robbing banks and things, but yet you know they're you know they're wanted, they're wanted men, and I mean, these you know uh, what's his name, um, Jeff Bridges' character, the police officer is out there trying to get them, and it's just a back and forth, and they're, are they going to get away, you know, kind of thing. Um, it's really kind of a slow pace. Uh, you know, kind of movie, a slow burn kind of thing. I, I kind of enjoyed it for what it was, but it's not one of those movies I can see myself watching over and over again. It does have really good performances in there, especially by Jeff Bridges. I've always been a big fan of his ever since, you know, The Big Lebowski, of course. He's just, you know, he just he's, he's just a fantastic actor, uh, in my opinion. But on this Blu-ray here, you get, of course, a couple of hand, uh, handful of uh, making of uh, special featurettes on here, and a film make, uh, filmmaker's Q&A, which I thought was kind of cool that they added on this uh this blu-ray disc right here all right everyone and next up over here from warner brothers home entertainment is war dogs the new 4k blu-ray digital copy combo pack here this is a film directed by todd phillips the director of the hangover trilogy starring jonah hill and uh, miles teller here uh, in this film they play these lifelong friends or not lifelong friends they were friends when they were kids and now they're reconnecting uh with one another all these years later uh miles teller is like a you know uh, a massage therapist he's kind of upset with his life and how it's turned out and things but yet when he comes across Jonah Hill after all this time he finds out that Jonah Hill's character has been, who's been selling guns to soldiers you know guns and ammo and you know making all this money and uh, it's about them coming together and becoming arms dealer arms dealers with one another and trying to make m money hand over fist and uh, it's just you know all the shenanigans that they get into uh, along this whole process here that's all I can really say about this film without you know ruining it for for you any, any anymore but like it's based on a true story which i thought was kind of fascinating uh, to be honest because you know about you know two people that 
really know not really don't know much about anything when it comes to like selling guns and what they're doing and you know all that kind of stuff and i don't know i, I thought i thought this movie was really kind of interesting uh, in a way because it takes place during like the bush cheney years and uh like how the government was all kind of you know all, all kind of crazy at the time and and how you know different people were making money you know going you know going to certain websites and things and buying guns from the government just to sell them back to the government it, i don't know it, it was really kind of kind of confusing and weird uh you know with, with with some of the stuff that was going on in this movie for me at least but like i really do love the characters that uh miles teller played because miles teller's character is like the everyday uh you know uh, character of the film he's like he's like me he's like you you know what i mean he's, he's like the the average guy and jonah hill is like the over the top you know crazy character guy he's not really giving a shit just out there making money doesn't really care about anybody else but himself and everything like that but like i just i really did get into his character i really do like jonah hill as an actor Sure, but this movie looks beautiful on 4K, especially you know with the lighting that they had for this film. It's just really super realistic uh, lighting. I know. I mean, for the, when you're watching on 4K, it's just it looks really amazing with the deep blacks and the bright colors that they have here uh, on this Blu-ray. Here you get a handful of uh, you know behind-the-scenes featurettes talking to the actors and things. Definitely give it a chance and make make sure you get it on 4K because. Man, it looks beautiful. And uh, next up over here from the Warner Archive Collection is season two uh, of a show I, I only recently got into because of my mom. And that is uh, the second, the complete second season of I Zombie uh, on Blu-ray. And the only way you can get uh, the, 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 the seasons of uh, I Zombie on Blu-ray is uh, the WarnerArchiveCollection.com or Amazon. So if you guys are into the show, that's the only way you can get them on Blue. Uh, but it's pretty much about this young girl uh, who gets bit by a zombie while she's on a... Uh, you know, on a boat trip uh, one day, and uh, she comes back. She comes, you know, she comes back to her regular life, and you know, she's not quite the same anymore. And she she ends up taking this job at this morgue, and, uh, and of course, she starts eating eating the corpses' brains and stuff. And when she's when she's doing so at this morgue, she eats, she eats like a person's brain, and she can find out how how that person died and try to you know uh, investigate. And try to find the person that killed the person that that that's in the morgue. I, I I really do like the whole concept of this show. It's just it's just it's just a really fun show. And of course, this second season picks up where uh, the first season left off. And on this Blu-ray right here, uh, for special features, you get a I Zombie uh, 2015 panel uh, at the at, at you know San Diego Comic Con, and you also get some deleted scenes in here. But if you're a fan of the I Zombie show, you get the complete second season on uh, was it four discs here. And next up over here from the Warner Archive Collection too is they finally finally you know finally uh finished uh the complete series here of family matters on a uh, on dvd this is the complete ninth season they finally completed it and have all the seasons out now on DVD. So if you're a fan of uh, Family Matters, the show that was on TGIF back in the day, you can finally have them all uh, on DVD if you, of course, buy them separately. But, like, it's just a, a really fun show uh, from the 80s slash 90s that I've always loved. You know, Steve Urkel and the Winslow family and their shenanigans that they get into. And, uh... And you get, of course, you get you get the the ninth season here. You get all three discs containing all twenty two episodes of the of the final season here. Family Matters. And the only thing that was kind of weird to me when it comes to the ending of uh, Family Matters here, it it ends like on a cliffhanger episode, but at the same time, the last handful of episodes has a different lady playing, you know, Harriet, you know, the, the mother of the show. Had like a different actress, but yet everyone else kept calling the new actress Harriet. It was like the weirdest ending, you know, kind of ending to a show that I ever remember seeing when I used to, when I watched it back in the day. You know, I'm like, why is there a different lady playing the mother, but yet all the characters are still calling her Harriet? They couldn't they say it's like aunt somebody or something? I don't know what, I don't know what was going on and whatever happened to the actress that, that was played Harriet and why she couldn't be in the last couple episodes of the show. But if you're a fan of Family Matters, I just want to let you guys all know uh, the One Archive finally put all of them out now on a DVD. You can, if you want to complete your collection of Family Matters on DVD, you can now. And then next up over here from Warner Brothers also is a, a trilogy of movies I absolutely love because I'm a big fan of Chris Tucker. I absolutely love Jackie Chan. And this is the Rush Hour trilogy on Blu-ray. They finally released them all in one pack together with new Mondo artwork right over here. I really do love the packaging um, of this, man. Uh, of course, these are, you know, buddy cop movies. I'm not, I can't get into each of the movies, but it's, you know, 
Chris, you know, Chris, uh, Chris Tucker is a fast talking uh, cop, and Jackie Chan comes from Hong Kong at the, on, in the first film to help out the Chinese consulate to help him get his daughter back, and he teams up with uh, with Chris Tucker's character, and they they kind of have a little back and forth with one another because one can't speak that good of English, and the other one's just trying to you know move up in the ranks, uh, you know, in the FBI and stuff, and it's just them you know teaming up together and becoming friends, and you know going against the bad guys, and of course all directed by Brett Ratner, and uh, it's just really cool uh, to get them all now on Blu-ray in a pack together, because Warner Brothers originally only released the first and the third movie on Blu-ray, and for years we never had the second one on Blu-ray, or at least here in the States, and now in this pack we get all three, uh, you know, movies here, uh, it comes in four discs right now, you get, the, you get the first movie on one disc, the second movie has a single disc, uh, the third film has two discs, just like the original release does, but if you get this pack right here, you get a bonus disc, which is only about like 20 minutes long, but it's a, a 20 minute long featurette, uh, looking back at the series, uh, talking to Jackie Chan and um, uh, Brett Ratner and you know their mem memories on making the film, which I thought was kind of cool, but I don't think they really needed to put an extra disc just for a 20-minute special feature. But hey, that's just me. But if you're a fan of the Rush Hour trilogy, definitely get this pack right here. And I really do hope they make a fourth one because like that, that'd be dope, man. Because Chris Tucker doesn't really make that many movies anymore. And I was a fan of his ever since Friday and, the, of course, the Def Comedy Jam back in the day and Money Talks. And next up over here from Warner Brothers also, is Space Jam. Oh yeah, the the Blu-ray steelbook over here, which I think looks fantastic. And of course, it's pretty much about uh, the Looney Tunes fighting these, you know, uh, going against these aliens in a big basketball game. And, uh, you know, them going back and forth and getting Michael Jordan, uh, you know, in to help them and stuff. It's just a, a really fun uh, movie from my childhood. I, I always like revisiting every handful of years. And let's take a look at this packaging, man. You get the Looney Tunes on the back. You get the front right here. Um, you get Michael Jordan back there, uh, you know, in the packaging. It's just a, a really fun, uh, really cool movie, fun addition. Just one of those nostalgic things I like to revisit every once in a while, you know. And just want to let you guys all know you can get uh, the Steelbook over at Best Buy right now, along with a whole bunch of other uh books that, that are out right now. Hi, I'm just back again real quick to tell you about five uh, different DVDs that I received this week. Uh, some are episodic television as it were, others I don't, uh, could have been specials, I'm not sure, but they're all from the National Geographic channel. The first one I'll talk about is called Southern Justice. This particular one is season three. Uh, but luckily on these types of cop shows, you know, there's not a continuing, you know, plot or theme. So no matter what season you pick up, you know, it should be just fine. This one uh, follows deputies in uh, Sullivan County, Tennessee and Ash County, North Carolina. Um, uh, and it's pretty much just like the Cops TV show, maybe a combination between Cops and 48, 48 Hours because they go back and forth between stories. Um, I really liked it because I like cops and you know me on those kind of shows. So I really enjoyed this one, Southern Justice. Pretty cool. The next one I like was pretty cool. This is called Animal Storm Squad Season 1. I really liked it. It's uh, about a young lady here. Uh, what is her name again? Is uh, Carissa Hayden. She's a vet tech. But she also also has a team of people that go around the country with her uh, after disasters, re you know, rescuing animals. Like one, she went to a town where there had been a tornado, you know, a very severe tornado. Um, and I forget uh, what other types of, uh, you know, storms and that type of thing that they rest. Oh, and fires, things like that. I really enjoyed it. It's really very interesting because she has like a meteorologist that tells her, you know, well, you know, this is starting to happen. You're going to need to get out quick or the fire is going to come this way and we need to get out of here and we've got a log across the road. What are we doing? You know, and she rescues cats, horses, dogs. It, um, I really enjoyed it. You know, you might want to take a look. Animal Storm Squad. Pretty cool. Now, this one, I thought, oh, no, uh, I don't think I'd be at all interested. It's called The Yard, Season 1, and it's about shipbuilding. I'm like, oh, me, shipbuilding? Eh, no, not really. But as I put it in, I really got into it. Uh, it's very interesting. There's, there are two different shipyards uh, and uh, uh, 
now for the life of me, I can't remember the names of either one of them, but one is concerned with building sort of like a super tugboat. You know, it's not going to be a regular tugboat. It's going to be a super one that can haul, you know, bigger ships and that type of thing. And I thought to myself, uh, like I say, shipbuilding, what the heck? No, it was really interesting. Oh, my gosh, they're working with, you know, 2,000 tons of steel and putting it on top of another 2,000 pounds of steel and welding and this and that. It was, it, you know, and things that can happen, like the thing can slip and the guy almost got his, you know, head caught or head, you know, I mean, he could have been dead, that type of thing. Uh, the other shipyard is one that kind of... Um, cleans up boats for the fishing season in a sense and uh he was training a guy and the guy uh they put the newbie as it were to spray the bottom of these boats to get the you know sea life off the bottom like barnacles and so forth <laughs> and the guy i guess he thought the guy was going to put his finger over the hose part and he just screams at the guy don't put your finger a thousand pounds of water and can you know rip it right off <clears throat> anyway, it's, you know, didn't think I'd enjoy ship building, but this it was interesting. I didn't know a lot of stuff, and I found it kind of fascinating. You know, The Yard, season one, pretty cool. This one, I really like. This is season one, and I might look for season two. It's called The United States of Animals, and it goes all across the U.S., different places, and shows you different animals, uh, birds, lions, red foxes, bears, bison, uh, buffalo. I mean, it's really interesting, and it shows you the place where you can see them the best and the time of year to go. I mean, I never would have thought I'd be that interested, but gosh, the animals, and they show you what the animals do, and... Uh, I don't know. I I really liked it. I I watched the whole thing all the way through. I, I uh, if you're interested in animals, <laughs> take a look. Really cool. I know I keep saying this about all of them, but it's it's basically true. And the last one here is called Original Sin, Sex. <laughs> Ooh -oh. Am I going to talk about this? Oh my! <laughs> no, I mean it was it's really fascinating. Um, they, you know, kind of, kind of go through the history of it in a sense. Uh, you know, you have like chapter headings of high tech sex, government in the bedroom, and uh, sex ed wars. But it, it's interesting uh, because high tech sex, you think, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, but they they go way back in history to like, you know, I mean, it's not funny. I know you'll laugh. But they go back in history to the first, you know invention of the first vibrator and that was done um oddly enough i kind of know about this from um i can't remember what from but back in the victorian days <clears throat> um women would get what the medical profession called hysteria and they would go to doctors and quite well okay we're not going to get into it but look it up. It's kind of interesting. And especially the sex ed wars. Remember when you were taught sex education in your school? Really interesting the different types and ways and, and <laughs> misleading information you would have received from that. So this isn't about, you know, oh boy, sex, ha ha, dirty movie. It's interesting. It show, uh, you know, it talks about Masters and Johnson and all those, you know, the researchers and everything. Really interesting. And guys, if you want any of these titles, all you have to do is go to foxconnect.com. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone. And next up over here from Paramount is a movie called Intervention over here. The only reason I really wanted to see this movie is because Natasha Lyonne's in it. And I'm a big, big fan of her ever since the slums of Beverly Hills. You also get Jason Ritter in here and a handful of other uh, notable faces. Uh, it's, this movie is pretty much about these four couples going to this, uh, you know, vacation house for the weekend. Uh, they're all friends. They all want to, you know, just get together and just, you know, have, have a good time. But yet... Uh, there's this one couple that's kind of troubled and they're kind of, you know, on the outs with one another and the other couples know about this and uh, they want to they want to go on this weekend together 
to put on this inter intervention for this couple because they don't they don't want them to break up. They want them to stay together, and it's all you know all of them going to this house together with that one plan in mind is to help out this one couple. But as soon as they all get there, they all find out that they all are kind of crazy. They're all kind of on the outs with their significant others and different things, and it's just them trying to you know come to get come together and just figure out what they're going to be doing you know with their lives and stuff. And I just thought this movie was really kind of uh, entertaining and cool in my opinion it kind of felt like I was watching like a new version of, of the big chill in my opinion it kind of felt like that but not as slower not not as slow or <laughs> or anything but like I really do like the performances in here Natasha Leone is absolutely gorgeous big fan of hers I like her in American the American Pie movies also uh, you also get a, a handful of other actors in here too I keep forgetting their names but you also get a music video uh, on this uh, DVD on a blooper reel but if you guys love the movie the big chill and you the, kind of like that vibe of a movie you, you, you'll probably really get a kick out of this film next up over here from rlj entertainment is a pierce, pierce brosnan's new movie and it's called it uh this movie is pretty much start uh, pretty much about pierce brosnan's character he's a self-made millionaire guy he has this you know big company he's just about to you know drop this new this new app that's kind of like lyft or uber but for rich people that can take you know private jets to wherever they want to go at any given moment uh you you know kind of thing he also he also has this big fancy house like a bill gates kind of house and uh he befriends this uh this new guy that's working for him at his uh, at his company he's like he's like a temp worker he's an it guy and uh he, be, he befriends him because he you know the new it guy helps him out uh during one of the one of his business meetings and things and he becomes kind of close with him brings him over to his house to help him out with his internet problem that he's having and uh slowly but surely this little, you know, this knitter, this little um, intern guy that uh, is working for him slowly starts to be obsessed. Starts to get obsessed with his with Pierce Brosnan's daughter and other things in you know Pierce Brosnan's house. As soon as he fixes up, he fixes the internet. He also does other things too, like has little cameras all throughout his house and gets to see his daughter, Pierce Brosnan's daughter, taking a shower. See what Pierce Brosnan and his family are doing, and he starts to get into like really weird, creepy territory. This movie kind of felt like I was watching The Crush, but like an updated version of it. You know, the old uh, Alicia Silverstone movie. It kind of has that sort of vibe, kind of to it, uh, mixed with like. The, the uh, movie Hackers uh, from back in the day a little bit. But if, if it sounds interesting to you, give it a chance because it's a really decent uh, thriller film. And next up over here from Wellgo USA is Baked in Brooklyn uh, right over here on Blu-ray. And it's about this young man. Uh, I, believe, I believe his name was David. Uh, he's, just, he's kind of like a nerdy, kind of shy kind of guy. At the beginning of this movie, he gets fired from his job that he's been at for all these years. And he doesn't know what he's going to do now. What is he What is he going to do with his life? Because he just meet us met. One, like the love of his life, this girl that is just absolutely gorgeous, and he he just wants to be you know be with her, but yet he has no money, no job, he doesn't know what he's gonna do. So he's like, hey, I'm gonna start selling weed now. So he ends up going to this you know uh, drug dealer, buying weed off him for so he thinks as his wholesale, and starts to you know come up with a business on uh, selling weed on the internet through like you know craigslist and stuff and uh he he delivers the weed himself and so all the the craziness that he gets into being a, a self you know made drug dealer or whatever because he's making ha money hand over fist and it's just what happens to him when he gets into that game from being a nerd to being a drug dealer um i thought this this movie was kind of cool it had a real cool vibe to it um i i really i was really in, you know i really got into the movie i really liked the the girlfriend's character of this movie i don't know the whole the whole movie was kind of cool because i didn't really expect much from it because i thought it was gonna be just like a straight stoner kind of comedy movie but it was kind of serious it wasn't a it wasn't a stoner comedy movie at all but like i know the whole the whole movie was just really entertaining in my opinion if you and if uh, it sounds interesting to you definitely give it a chance and there really was no special features on this blu-ray but i loved it anyway and then last up for this update today is the legend of bruce lee volume one here on dvd this is a three disc set featuring 10 episodes of uh of the series here uh this is a show that originally aired in, in uh, i believe china or japan or whatever it was uh back in 2008 uh, it was like a mini series that lasted like 50 episodes uh t you know about uh, the story of bruce lee and how he became to be you know from his uh young days uh you know growing up in uh um 
you know, growing up and wanting to learn Kung Fu, being, being beat up in school, and then, like, you know, moving to America, meeting his wife, you know, you know and, and, and so on. And this right here is, is a, featuring the first 10 episodes of that series, of course, dubbed in English. So if you guys want to, you know, if you guys live out here and you don't like to read subtitles, you get you get these uh, episodes dubbed in English. So if you guys want to see, like, the, you know, the, you know, the legacy of Bruce Lee, definitely check this one out here. I'm only a handful of episodes in, but, like, it's really kind of weird you know, because I, I watched the Ip Man movies and know he, you know, Ip Man's the guy that trained Bruce Lee. But yeah, so far, I don't see Ip Man in here. The character of Ip Man is just really kind of weird. It's like some other other guy that's teaching him Kung Fu so far. It's just the strangest thing. I don't I don't, I don't know. I, I maybe I haven't gotten into it far enough. But to, so far, it's kind of cool. It kind of feels like I'm watching like a, kind of like a soap opera a little bit when, uh, watching this one right here. It's not as cool as Ip Man or anything. But like, it kind of feels like, like a soap opera-ish kind of, you know, episodic television kind of thing but it's still kind of cool because i love the, the the legend of bruce lee and i just want to know more about him if, you know if i can learn more about him but that's the uh, legend of bruce lee volume one but that's all i have to talk to you guys about today for my blu-ray dvd update if you guys like what me and my mom talked about definitely give this video a thumbs up and let us know which ones you guys are most likely going to pick up uh if you see them out there in the stores but see you guys next time bye